the first part of the series united us with a long-lost gem for the digital note-taking community. In this second part, we'll explore all the items you can add in Notes Plus X. Will we continue to love it or slowly start to dislike it? Let's find out. Fantastic human, hello. It's Ropsy with Paperless X. I only appreciate body text for a handwriting note-taking app because options are a good thing. Its practical use is very limited though because most apps can't separate the text from our handwritten notes so they tend to overlap. Not in a good way. The text tool wasn't great in the app either. So that can be another reason not to use the feature. Text kept disappearing, the pages moving up and down. Overall, using this feature has been a massive pain. You get font size options that range from 1 to 250. Not sure what the measurement is. It's massive. Then the app got stuck and frozen because obviously 250 points, pixels or millimeters, whatever the measurement is for font size in a handwriting note taking app is insane. I had to close the app and when I opened it again, all my text was gone. We definitely don't need a maximum font size that big and the app can't handle it either. So it makes sense if the developers would adjust this a little bit and make it more functional and practical. You get a lot of font types, but Nose Plus X doesn't support custom fonts. which is strange because it has an option to manage fonts and it's showing a single font that I don't even recognize. I'm running a developer beta for iPadOS on this iPad, so I thought maybe that was messing up with my custom fonts and that they disappeared because of it. So I had to check in another app if I still have custom fonts. And I do. Look at that. So this is either a bug in Notes Plus X. Whatever the case, most of us like using custom fonts, so we hope the developers can add that feature for us. You can change the color of your text. Surprisingly, the app supports unnumbered lists with three different bullet types. You can't convert it to a numbered one though. And that's something that most apps can easily do. At least you can mix them up. So you can mix your numbered and a numbered list. That happened right before the app froze again and I lost all my body text again. At this point, I was just frustrated and wanted to quickly move off the body text. It's clearly not working. That coupled with the fact that numbered lists have a single numbering type, I just wanted to wrap things up real fast. You can add the time and date to your notes and we're out. Text boxes make more sense in a handwriting note taking app. Interacting with them is still not as intuitive as we've got used to, but it's not going to make you not use the feature. It's just different. You can change the background color, which also changes the size of the text box. The text tool in Notes Plus X is really buggy. 
You can also change the roundness of your text box so much that it can become a text circle, not a box. I'm not sure what that is, but it's weird. You also have an option for border color. And the border thickness is another extreme that can turn a text box into a filled shape. Border thicknesses aren't even supposed to do that. Not sure what's really going on here. Nos Plus X has shadows for your text boxes that give it a subtle 3D look and feel. You can save favorite textiles for easier access when you're using the text tool. We'd be happy about this if the text tool worked better because favorite styles are rare to find. Shapes are worse than text boxes. They are less intuitive and the app supports only a few of them. It won't recognize your irregular shapes or any shape that you draw with the thinnest pen thickness, which I found weird. Once drawn, there's not much you can do with your shapes in Nodes Plus X, except change the border color and add a fill color. At least you can adjust the opacity of your shape border and fill independently. It looks like we should be able to draw arrows as well, but I wasn't able to. Bug or missing, I don't know. We should be able to at least add multiple photos at once. Not one by one. Drag and drop is not a bad workaround for that. So we're happy to see it. You've already seen me resizing images a couple of times. You can also rotate your image. And crop it. The cropping experience wasn't great though. And you don't have freehand cropping. I also failed to reset the crop, and that is the first time I'm encountering that. Audio recording syncs to your handwritten notes, but not your text. That's a limitation you'll find in most apps, so that wasn't surprising. Tapping anywhere in your notes skips to that part, but it's not very accurate because it always jumps a few words away from where you actually tap. Playback is very simple in Notes Plus X, the simplest we have seen in a handwriting note taking app. You can't speed up or rewind your audio, which is a bit disappointing because those are very basic features. Notes Plus X doesn't have a dedicated lasso tool. It supports a pen gesture that lets you pick up everything on the page. You can also select individual items or simply just tap your shapes, images, and text boxes. The gesture is a hit and miss. It doesn't always work and that can be frustrating because it's the only way you can interact with everything on your page. You can group items together, which was a pleasant surprise.
everything you copy gets saved to the app's clipboard and that means you can use it as many times as you like without needing to copy it again. You can also move items to the back or front of other items on the page. And for your handwriting, you can change pretty much everything about your pens, which is really cool. Though it doesn't have any selectivity options, it's quite a functional lasso. Surprisingly, not much is missing from the items you can add to your notes in Notes Plus. Only stickers and sticky notes for which the clipboard is an excellent workaround. It might turn out better than the dedicated feature. But there is a big but. The user experience for most of them is exhausting. Let's hope the developers can find a way to simplify how we interact with items in our notes. It could help us work faster and more efficiently. Can't wait to see what part three will reveal. How are you liking Notes Plus X so far? Do let us know. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in part three.